How to remove an authorized user from your bank account. Not sure how to remove an authorized user from your bank account. Choose this template to create your document, then send it to the bank. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top, an example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Choose your document date. Then, input the bank name, bank example. Next, enter bank address line 1. P.O. Box 123. Bank address line 2. Miami, Florida 12345. Now, you need to input the bank account number, let's say account, 12345678900. Next, enter the name of the person you plan to remove, an example, Jane Doe. And the basis for the request, remove promptly. Under the table, please enter your first and last name exactly as they appear on the driver license or ID, John Doe. Then, input your social security number, 123 Date of birth, October 30, 1975. Enter your current address again, 123 Example Street, Unit 1, New York, New York 12345. Next, enter your phone number, 123-456-7890. And an email address you own, example at example.com. Under the text, sincerely, need to enter your first and last name, John Doe. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, John Doe. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. For your convenience, please use the online notary service, by following the link idispute.org slash online dash notary. Finally, send the letter by USPS certified mail. Certified mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your letter. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important. You can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.